Mm -mm, I feel like somebody been in my car. Yeah, I just want to cut all of this off. Like, I just want to just snip this right here. Just, girl, that's all right, because I'm going to get these twists on Sunday. So, she going to have to work for the day. Hello, hi. It's Thanksgiving. Hi. Happy Thanksgiving, everyone. How are you guys doing? Um, I hope you guys are enjoying your time with your loved ones or about to enjoy your time with your loved ones if you anything like me you late as hell but if you anything like my family you on time when you late as hell because i guarantee you the food probably ain't even done because that's what black folks do um so i was like let me just vlog a little bit like on my way why did i cut the heater off in this reason it's 59 degrees that's cold to me let me just vlog a little bit as i drive to my mama's house around the corner oh i'm gonna eat so good I'm finna eat so good. Like, I'm mad that my appetite ain't as big as it should be. Like, I feel like... I feel like I should have a bigger appetite. But, uh, yeah. But it's gonna come. It's gonna come. It's so gloomy out here. Damn, it's quiet in a bit. Now, normally, this the drug cone. Mm-hmm. It's Thanksgiving. <laughs> I thought drug dealers worked on the holidays. <laughs> Normally, that motherfucking corner store will be lit. That whole corner will be turned up with niggas just sitting outside shooting dice, all kind of shit. But, um, nah, I can't, I can't call them people drug dealers because I don't know that for sure. They don't have me on fucking on the internet talking about, uh... It's drug dealers at such and such and such. No, I don't know that. I'm just cracking jokes, okay? I ain't nobody snitch or bitch. But anyway, let turn this. I just want to, um, I had been meaning to vlog about uh, mental health for men. So November is actually Men's Mental Health Month. For those who did not know. Oh, you in a rush to get to the cornbread, ain't you? Um, so I had wanted to vlog about mental health in when it comes to men, it is so like, first of all, we don't talk about it enough. We don't talk about mental health enough, period. Like at all. We don't talk about mental health at all. Like not as much as we should. And especially with men, because people don't realize that the suicide rate for men is actually higher than women. And um, the reason being is because men don't get help. Like, men are less likely to get help for their mental illnesses like depression, anxiety, bipolar disorder, schizophrenia, like all these mental health illnesses that we know about, men are less likely to get help for them. So, it makes the suicide rate higher for men because they don't want to seek help for it. Why don't they want to seek help for it? Society society the way they were brought up and the masculine mentality so men were brought up in a way where you can't cry if you cry you a man you're not supposed to show emotion you're not supposed to do this you're not supposed to be weak you're not supposed to do this like i hate that shit like i hate it i fucking hate it if you're watching this and you were either taught this or you're teaching somebody that stop teaching people that shit stop teaching men that shit because when you teach them that as boys they grow up to to be men that don't acknowledge their emotion they don't communicate they just they end up in so many different bad situations it sucks when it comes to relationships it's horrible it's horrible stop teaching that i hate that mentality of men don't cry that's bullshit men are humans humans have emotions humans cry they're supposed to so the fact that they're holding that shit in because well dad told me that i couldn't cry so i can't cry i gotta be a man i gotta be a man that shit stick with them so then that when they adult men and they going through depression and they going through anxiety and they going through all these issues they were taught i'm not supposed to cry so i gotta sit here and suck this shit up but what y'all fail to realize is mental health and mental illnesses is a chemical imbalance it's not something that you can control with the snap of a finger 
you can hold in all the tears you want, but that's not going to take away the depression. You cannot run from it. You have to face it. You have to go through it. You have to seek resources. That's, that's, and I got a little aggressive because I'm low key pissed off because I hate that, that teaching. I hate that mentality that society has on that men can't have feelings. They're humans. It's okay for them to be depressed. It's just a matter of what are they going to do about it? They don't go to therapy. Black people in general already have a stigma when it comes to therapy. But trying to get black men in therapy... Trying to get black men in therapy is like... Trying to get me to wake up at 5 in the morning. Don't do that. Don't wake me up at 5 in the morning. Like, and I say that because y'all know I'm not a morning person. Because it's, it's complicated. Like, Don't even try to attempt to wake me up at 5 in the morning. Um, but no, on a serious note, trying to get them into therapy is so hard. Like, it's so hard. Like, men have to understand it's okay to go to therapy. It's okay to go talk to somebody. Because they also had this mentality, well, I'm not finna tell nobody my business. And what can this man tell me that I don't already know? That's why I actually think men should go to women therapists. Because it's like a man can relate on some things. But at the same time, they it's an ego thing. So I think it, well, I'll say it depends on the person because it's an ego thing. It's like, is it a wreck up here? It's like, I don't want a male therapist because then their egos might collide. And it's like, well, what can this nigga tell me that I don't already know? He can't tell me how to be a man. I am a man, blah, blah, blah. They go into it with that mindset. So to me, I feel like it's better for them to have women. But at the same time, the hell? Uh-uh, he getting pulled over and he in all black and he moving too much. That don't, that just screams, uh, I'm about to get shot. I don't like it. But, I'm sorry, y'all, that just threw me. But, they had made me lose my whole train of thought. Damn, what was I saying? Uh, oh, so I feel like they should go to women. Th I, th I feel like they'll do really well with older women there. Like, my therapist is an older woman an older black woman I feel like they would do good with that because a lot of them probably coming from mommy issues like I feel like that would be good for them because it's like I can it, it, the point is to not show you how to be a man and no a woman can't relate to what a man experiences but at the same time they're therapists so they train to work with anybody anyway and their focus is to help your mental health not teach you how to be a man that's, that's not what the goal of therapy is. The goal is to help you get through your mental health issues. So, I feel like that is actually a better idea. It's because most men actually do want to go to women. Like, the few men in my life that I've talked to, they want to go to, like, women therapists. They don't want to go to another man. Because it's like you can say stuff to a woman and feel more comfortable than you can man to man. Excuse me. Which brings me to what I always say me having boys as mentees i'm telling y'all women can get a lot more out of a boy or a man than a man can i can't show my mentees how to be a man but i can listen to them i can hear them out i can give them advice on a lot of things and they actually, because I'm a woman, respect me and are more likely to open up to me than if I was a man. Because if, if, if I'm a man, it's that same mentality. Like, nigga, you can't tell me what to do. You a man, I'm a man, so what? Like, it's an ego thing. So they're, they let their guard down a little bit more when it comes to women. Which is good. They need to. They want to feel comfortable. And it's, it's like, yeah, they raised by single mamas, so they do need a male figure in their life. Which is why if I do do male mentees, I'll partner with a male. So that way they can get like that, that male figure too. But for the most part, all my boy mentees that I've had in the past are doing phenomenal. They doing phenomenal things in life. They doing phenomenal things for themselves and others. So uh, mission accomplished, bitch. Let me make this you turn real quick. Because I'm already by my mama house. But I think we need to acknowledge men in their mental health. Like... They go through stuff too. And I think we fail to realize that. And I don't think it's fair. Like, 
I really don't think it's fair. I, men just get so short-handed on so much stuff, like domestic violence, mental health. Like, it's just not enough resources out here for them. It ain't enough people out here fighting for them. Like, I just, it's, they just get the short end of the stick, especially black men. Minority men in America. Man, that's a whole nother... I might as well just be a male advocate, hell. I, now, don't get me wrong. I advocate for women, too. But at the, men, they, they need way more way more help than we realize. And half of them be crying out for it, and we don't even notice. Hold on, y'all. I got to go in this store real quick. Let me put my... Because it's... I don't know if they got the cooties and stuff. I want a pack of ice. I mean, not a pack of... A pack of ice. A cup of ice. My mama going to kill me. I'm always late with the rolls. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back and I'm better. Um, it's cold outside and I don't like it. I do like the way this light hits my skin though. I'm about to get this new phone. Oh, he couldn't get his bill. He must ain't got no ID. That's up. Ooh. Baby, because let me tell you how I need a drink right now. But, um, let me tell my mom. I ain't even call. I ain't even ask her if she needed something from the coma store. she ain't gonna answer she ain't gonna answer because she never answer on the holidays because she's either cooking or getting dressed they better not be eating yet because i like i was late with the rolls for christmas i don't know what it is with me and having to bring the rolls but i was late with the rolls on easter baby they had already ate <laughs> hello nayla hello hey you at home where your nanny? Uh, I don't know. She not at home? She's here somewhere. Let me go find her. Nanny. Hello? Hey, I called your phone. I was trying to see if you needed something from the corner store. No, actually, don't get the soda. No, we should be good. Okay, where you was at? Huh? Where you was at? Where you was at? Huh? I say, what you in the kitchen? Yeah. Oh, okay. All right, that's what I wanted before I got over there. All right. All right. Hey. Huh? Go ahead and bring a bag of ice. A bag of ice? Yeah. Okay. Bye. Bye. What I tell y'all? Always want shit. I don't know why I ain't call him before I went in the goddamn store. Damn it, man. Oh, that is a pretty dog. Oh my god, y'all look. That is a beautiful dog. Sorry, bro. I ain't trying to put you on YouTube. I love that dog. That is a beautiful dog. He like, you better not move. Okay, y'all, hold on. I'll be back. Damn. All right. Damn. See, that's why I don't like purses and shit. Carry all this shit. I ain't got cold again. Hmm. It's kind of cute. I like them tall and skinny. They're a little two strand twist. See me, his little what look like his little brother. Um, but like I was saying, as I go around the corners, I keep getting hot and cold, and I don't like it. Look, hold on, y'all. Back, back, back. Um, but yeah, men need to be more advocated for in this world. So, 
it's men men's mental health month and i if you a man and you watching this and you have been dealing with mental illness or depression anxiety uh bipolar disorder any anything anything you just need to talk to somebody please get help please get help and then you you it ain't like you gotta tell nobody you getting help it could be between you and your therapist it's a thing called hipaa my therapist don't play about hipaa she ain't saying nothing to nobody about nothing there's a thing called hipaa so it could be between you and your therapist ain't nobody gotta know you going to therapy it's the fact that you're going because you can't do it by yourself i promise you you can't you talking to somebody with multiple mental illnesses and where I'm a park because per usual it's a black neighborhood and it's black folks and my granny got her car all in the way uh and I got this SUV so how, how we finna make this work with the kids running around all over the goddamn place okay but um yeah I'm gonna try to uh insert a clip well now I take that back I might record the family on a different video it probably ain't gonna be long because ain't nobody gonna be wanting to talk i'ma just make sure i tell them to say like comment and subscribe then start using that as my as my little intro <laughs> that'll be cute um but yeah man get help if you if you need to talk if you need some type of guidance just somebody to hear you out i'm here for you let me know. Email me. My information is always in the description, like I always say. Hold on, because if I hit my grandma car, she gonna kick my ass. Am I on these people's thing? My grandma gotta move her car up a little bit. But um, yeah. So make sure y'all are aware of the statistics of men's mental health. Um, and you can follow the Trouble Movement on Instagram. We've been posting about it. Um, I will put the name across the screen. And I will also put the information in the description, okay? I take it very seriously because um, my babies, y'all know how I am about my babies. And the TTM video should have come out by now, by the time of this said recording. Um, so, happy Thanksgiving again. And I hope y'all have a wonderful time with your families I am grateful for life, peace, abundance, blessings, talents, gifts, family, friends, love, my babies. I can go all day on the things that I am grateful for, grateful for my faith, for God, and everything in between. Do you understand? So make sure you be thankful every day, not just today. Enjoy your loved ones. And as always, I'll see y'all later.